Hi everybody, it's me again. Today's Thanksgiving, uh, 2009. And, um, I haven't really gotten a whole lot done, but I think I need something, something really big. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I've set up a little bit of an experiment right here that, um, uses a much bigger fan, uh, just a normal fan that you would cool yourself off with during the day. I have it all wrapped up in duct tape here so that I can force all the air going to go through my heat sink right here. Uh, my Peltzer units are down here, and here's the cold heat sink. It's supposed to get cold. And uh, I'm going to do a temperature reading on it right now. It's not on. And it says it's about 90 degrees or so. Yeah, it's a little warm in here. We just got done. We just got done cooking a lot of Thanksgiving stuff, so it is a little hot in here. But um, I'm going to show you what's going to happen whenever I turn this thing on. Now, keep in mind, this fan is a lot more powerful than the fan I've been using, which is this piece of crap. That, that's got to go. We're not using that anymore. So I've decided to hook this fan up to it to see what it would do. Now I'm going to turn it on. There's my fan. And there's my Peltier unit. And where's my thermometer? Here we go. I'm going to show you what happens. So, so as of right now, it's topping out around around 50 degrees or so. A few more minutes of this, and I could get it all the way down to about, say, around 40 degrees is the lowest I've gotten it. Um, I'm still working on it. <sighs> Let's see. See, right now it's all the way down to about 47 degrees. The lowest I've gotten it was about 40. Um, of course, all this depends on the ambient air around. This right here, you may have noticed, I'm trying to pump air from that window right there. Right now, right now that window is completely closed. But, if I were to take a little screwdriver and pry it open, Roughly 40 degrees. So, that's all I've got to show you so far concerning that. Um, one thing I'm going, I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about hooking up instead of this pitiful little heat sink here. I'm thinking about getting a car radiator. That's really what I just said. A radiator and pulling it out of a car. Uh, junkyards tend to have a lot of these laying around. Craigslist has a few laying around. Um, another thing I could use is a radiator out of an air conditioning unit. Now, these things are a dime a dozen when people throw away their window units. I know this because I live around LSU and a lot of apartment complexes use window units. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, seeing if I can scavenge up an old window unit somehow. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this or where I'm going to get one, but I'm thinking about finding one at a scrap yard or even at a trailer park. If anybody knows how I can get a radiator for a car or for some air conditioning unit or anything like that, 
I would love to talk to you. Please let me know. Um, that will be the final and end-all solution to this this thing, if I can get something to really, really sink the heat out of it via a radiator. And uh, that's all I've got for now. Just um, have a happy turkey day and eat pork instead, because pork's better. It really is. And that's it. Bye.